What is up guys, I'm back again with another video in today's one. What we are going to do is we will be learning how anybody can draw this bubble sort of artwork in Krita coming up. So before starting off with the video, I just wanted to mention that we have already completed our 900 subscribers. So the sort of support you've been showing me uh, from last few weeks is just so amazing and so overwhelming. So I just wanted to thank each and every one of you for making this milestone possible. So yeah, enough with that. So let's just jump into the main video. Currently, I'm using Krita 4.3, which is the latest version out there. The canvas size is set up to 2000 by 2000 pixels and as usual we are using two layers one of them is a transparent png layer and the second one is an opaque fill layer with white color on it so starting off with we will be selecting a fill tool with the color set it up to something like dark blue and we will be filling the entire background with this color now just lock this background layer in order to make sure that you don't make any accidental changes to it after that, select the foreground layer and use the circular tool in order to make a circle with it. Make sure the color is set up to white and the size is somewhere around 5 pixels. And just simply drag it like this and make a circle. Unlike me, uh, your fill settings should not be set up to foreground, it should be set up to not filled. So just press Ctrl Z to undo whatever you did and change it to not filled instead of foreground color. Now again drag it and make it a perfect circle like this. So after that's done, uh, use this particular eraser, set its sides to somewhere super high and start gently erasing the ends of the circle like this. As you can see most of our outer structure for our bubble is completed. Now we can work on the glossy shine and the white highlights on our bubble surface. For that, just simply create a new layer and start drawing dots like this on both of the sides of the bubble. Now in order to properly blend these dots, you can use a special brush which is called Blender Blur Brush. We will make sure that we are using a freehand curve tool and the brush size is set up to relatively high in order to smudge it properly. Now in order to give our bubble a better looking glossy sort of finish, what you can do is you can go to the layer, press the right mouse button and add a filter mask to it. And inside this filter mask, what you can do is you can add a Gaussian blur and set the strength to something around 90 or maybe, or maybe 60 pixels. Adding on to it, create a new layer for your canvas by pressing this plus icon for our highlights. And now add some random curves and dots here and there within the, within the insides of the bubble. Now in order to fine tune the lines, you can just use a simple eraser and start erasing the lines like this. and just erase off all the portions which you don't want in your highlights. To give a more realistic sort of look to the bubble and its highlights, what you can do is you can add a filter just like what we did before and similarly add a Gaussian blur to it. Now in order to add some lighting effects to the bubble, what you can do is you can add a new layer 
on top of all these layers. Now before doing anything, just press shift and click all the previous layers which you just created. Press the right mouse button and select merge. And this will merge all of these layers making our panel more tidy and easy to understand. After you've done that, just go to the new layer we just created and set its layer mode to addition. Now select a new color, something like red. Now using an airbrush and a freehand tool, just fill the color like this. And similarly to the opposite side, just use a blue color and fill the entire side like this. For the area left between your red and the blue portion, you can use a purple color because it will give us a more blended look. Obviously, you can completely change the coloring scheme according to your background, your taste or your lighting situation or choices. Also, you can change the opacity of this particular layer in order to change the lighting intensity inside the bubble. So yeah, that was the video guys. This is how anybody can draw this piece of digital artwork in Krita. So yeah, if you liked the video, press the subscribe button, turn on the notifications because we are very near to a 1k subscriber milestone. You can follow me on Instagram. The handle is right in front of you. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Until then, peace.